To access the CAM 360, you go to the toolbox and choose Create Toolpath from the menu. This will open the model in the CAM mode. And as you see here, I have several components. I can hide them or I can use them all. The first thing I do is click Setup and I have to tell which plane I want to work on. And this is X and Y plane. I'm going to tell the stock pointer. And now I'm selecting which part, which component I want to CNC. And then I tell where I want the CNC machine to start. Next thing is to tell the stock size. You can do it many ways. As you see, I can just lay some extra material outside, three millimeters, four or five, whatever you want. You can also tell how much above. And the final size you see under stock info. When the setup is done, you can see it in the browser. The next thing I'm going to do is the roughing path. This is going to remove most of the material. I need to select the tool. And this time I'm going to choose a 6mm flat end mill. You can select the tool number if you have an automatic tool changer and length. And here is the feed rate. Boundaries used for restrict some area, not machining the whole path. And here is tolerance and things like that. Maximum roughness step, fine step over and how much to leave for the finished path. Then the tool path is calculated. I'm going to hide the other component that I'm not machining. And then the fun part, the simulator. I want to show the material I'm machining. So I click on that. You can speed up the machining process. I like this rough path. Removing strategy. First, you take a lot of material and then it goes up and take a smaller amount. Yeah. The roughing tool path is okay, so the next step is to find the finishing path. And in this case, you can see a lot of strategies depending on model you are going to CNC. Many times you need to use several of these to get the best results. In this case I'm choosing a traditional parallel strategy. Again I need to choose a tool. I'm going to choose a 6, six millimeters ball nose. I'm going to use the standard first just to see how it is. You see the step over is 3 millimeters and way too much, but 
let's try it. Now I'm going to simulate the finishing part, and you see something strange is going to happen in the hole. And the reason for this is the flute length is not enough to take all. So in order to fix this, you need to take the roughing path later. But I'm not using this to save time in the simulation. Another thing I want to change is step over. So I try 0 0.5, see if that is enough. And I start a new simulation. You can see here the result is much better, but it takes a lot more time. I should have tried different toolpath strategy and preferences, but I'm just trying going to simulate both paths at the same time now. And the way I'm doing that is click setup before uh, action and simulate. And here you can see the funny things in the hole is disappear. The simulation is okay, so the next thing to do is export the G code. I need to tell which CNC machine I'm using, and I'm using Mac 3 and I'm using millimeters. The next thing to do is tell where the G code is going to be saved. And you will see the G code here, and this is ready to send the CNC machine. I hope you like this video, and please subscribe and like, and there will be more.